All right, let's talk tools. Um, I get questions from time to time, and I know when I first started building my toolbox for my Jeep, every time I go on a trail, I bring uh, a toolbox with me, full set of tools uh, for myself, for anyone else that may need them. I like to be prepared, uh, something that can be fixed with you know having the right equipment versus like being stuck on a trail because you don't have uh, the proper tools or wrenches or, or uh, whatever it is to fix a problem that may arise when you're off-roading. Um, so in, in, in getting my toolbox set up initially, I kind of just got, you know, a big old set of sockets and some, uh, you know, screwdrivers and pliers and just random kind of stuff that, you know, any mechanics toolbox would have. And then as time went on, I started figuring out what I actually needed and, and then also kind of tailoring the toolbox uh, to uh, reduce the weight, you know, basically only bring what I needed and then kind of uh, get smaller things. You know, I had a big old sledgehammer before and I've, I've lowered the weight of that. Uh, all that stuff adds up when you're starting to weigh down and add all this extra weight to the vehicle. So I thought I'd go through kind of what, this is my toolbox. This is a Rome Adventure box. Uh, it's a really nice um, box and it fits everything I need for my Jeep. I have pretty much every single tool I would need to fix my JL or a JK for the most part on a trail if something were to break. Uh, so this box goes with me anytime I'm on a trail. Uh, this, this came from another toolbox, just a little drawer, but uh, I'll go through this real quick, just WD-40. Um, we have, you know, a battery meter to check uh, voltage on battery or power or anything like that. You know, just uh, some, some cl random clamps that you can use to clamp stuff down. Electrical tape, always have electrical tape. This is a blower for blowing stuff off. Uh, small clippers, bailing wire, use this uh, in, in a pinch for multiple uh, applications, but this can also be used to sew a tire uh, back together. If you have patches and, and, uh, or plugs and uh, you need a little bit more strength, you can use bailing wire for that. Multiple pens, paint pens, um, Sharpie. This is a handy tool, it's a it's magnet, uh, tel telescopic, I guess. Uh, so I can pick up, you know, you drop a bolt, whatever. I use this thing a lot. Razor blades. Torque, some torque spec numbers for bolts and things like that, just in case. Rubber gloves, safety glasses, of course. Uh, this is just a 16 gauge uh, electrical wire for whatever reason if I needed it. More electrical tape, uh, gasket seal, some Mark TV, that is very handy. Uh, some plumber's tape, a couple, couple different punches. Uh, files, metal files. Uh, various sizes. I have a uh, flat one and then a round one. These are handy if you got to get some metal ground off in case you need to weld or do something like that. Some red Loctite. Uh, this is actually uh, for gear backlash paint. So you uh, probably wouldn't necessarily need this on the trail, but this is where I keep it in case I do. Uh, so that's kind of in this quick little uh, drawer up here. Just kind of the random miscellaneous stuff that doesn't really have a home. Uh, and then we'll start with wrenches. So a uh, open-ended wrench kit. This is from Tecton. This has every single uh, metric size you would need from 10 millimeters, I'm sorry, from 8 to 19. All comes in this pouch. Um, and these are all ratcheting. So one end is open end, the other end ratchets, which is nice. That's a little bit thicker, the ratcheting ends, but it is nice in quick situations to be able to, to ratchet stuff down. And then I bought these to supplement the pack. Uh, these are the other wrenches you would need for a JK or a JL. So 21 and a 20 uh, are JK and then the JL adds the 22 and the 24. So I just keep these all in here all nice and rolled up um, for as far as wrenches are concerned. And then I have two of these bags here. These are just uh, keep things organized. First bag I in here I keep uh, Kind of all my other, you know, uh, wrench type stuff. So we've got uh, various pliers, um, crescent wrenches of various sizes, electrical clamps, clippers, you know, to cut electrical. This is for, uh, you know, any sort of C-clamp you would need, maybe in the Factor 55, or uh, sometimes you have some of those in other places. More crescents, needle nose, uh, regular dice. So. These are kind of what we have here. I'll lay all this stuff out and I'll get a, like a kind of a close up video at the end of what each bag contains. Um, kind of do that as we go here so that we can have it ready for when we're done and you guys can just kind of scroll through the video. Sorry if you can't hear me. I don't have a lot of uh, professional audio equipment so we're, we're doing it with the phone right now. 
and then a couple of locking pliers, uh, just you know, various sizes. Another crescent. Oh, I thought I lost this guy. I replaced it with this one, so I can put that one now in my toolbox. This one was just in the wrong spot. And then this is a uh, what is this one? A 12. Uh, I needed that for some reason. I already have a 12, so I can take that out. Good thing I'm going through this. So that's the end of this bag right here. So that's bag number one. Bag number two. And then I kind of, I, honestly, I put everything back in the toolbox the same way. So this, this bag with all of these wrenches is always on the right-hand side with my wrenches. So like my wrenches are all on one side, my sockets, and then everything else is kind of, you know, in a way that I can get to it quickly and figure out what I need uh, when I'm doing that. So this bag's going to have various uh, screwdrivers, a couple flatheads, a couple Phillips heads, different lengths, a uh, nice longer one for prying, another smaller one. I don't know that I need all of these, so this might be something I downgrade, maybe pull one of the smaller ones out. Uh, you know, again, weight and adding up, it all kind of adds up after a while. A uh, chisel, two chisels, probably can pull one of those out. Uh, sometimes I'll just, I'll, I'll think I need something and I'll, I'll, I'll throw it in the bag and then not realize that I already had done that, so I might have duplicates of a couple things. This is just a, uh, you know, an Allen uh, kit for multiple Allen sizes. I have a couple of different Allen uh, setups in here as well. And then, so here you go with those. So metric and standard, an extra uh, socket wrench if I need it in case the one I have breaks. And then these are just various uh, larger sizes that I've come across on my Jeep that I've needed. So then I've supplemented and added these different sizes in there. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head what they are, but I can, uh, answer in the comments and questions if we need to. So that's bag number two. Keep all this stuff kind of organized. Get all these out of the way. Bag number two, and then this is bag number three, smaller bag, and this is just a lot of uh, socket extensions. So you know, various lengths. Uh, this is a little five sixteenths. I think this is for um, the drive shaft, if I remember correctly. And then just multiple, you know, you know, you got your elbow, your shorter, your stubby. Um, and then this one was for, I think this is a star bit. This is when I had the Dynatrack diff cover on the JK. It had a uh, 12 point bit and one of them you needed the long extension because you couldn't get to it through another one. So that would help somebody with uh, the star bits on the trail. This is my light lock for my KC lights in case I needed to fix that. And then just all these different, uh, sockets that I needed for for whatever, you know, um, step down bit, different, these are for the, this one's for the quarter pounder, the front bumper, you know, different uh, sizes and shapes and things like that that are on specific parts maybe, maybe an aftermarket part that I bought that needed a specific size, uh, I would have put that in this bag so that I, that's kind of like my random and then all, again, all my drop downs and step ups and things like that so I can, you know, put a, a half inch on a, or three or three quarter three eighths on a half inch or or what have you and, and adapt the uh, whatever I'm using for that. So that's bag number three, um, and then this would be uh, impact sockets. So again, this is by Tecton. So this is uh, an 11 to a 24 for uh, impacts. You know, the impacts are nice. They're a little bit thicker, so you can't always get it on everything. But I've never really had an issue with those. But Anytime you need to really uh, hammer down on something, it's good to have that. So I'm going to put that over here. And then a uh, big old crescent wrench. There's a lot of times you might need this for, say, a jam nut or just some big old thing that needs leverage. So uh, I have bigger ones than this, but this one seems to get most every bolt that I would need on the trail. Um, so we've got that. Just some shop towels. Another long extension that doesn't fit in the bag, the super duper long guy. Two hammers, uh, just a dead blow for things that require uh, some umph, but not you don't want to mar it or dent it or ding it. And then a uh, this is a three pound sledge. I had a four pound in there before, but again, you know I, I didn't need a four pound. This thing will, will get done when I need to get done. I think if, if I needed to use it, which I had, you can tell it's been used. This has been used on the trail. Uh, couple couple various C clamps. Maybe more than eight. This one's good for brake calipers. This is what I use to press the piston and the caliper. So that would be good on the trail. Uh, I could find probably a couple different reasons why I want to use something like that. A couple small C clamps, and then I just a couple mid size. So these are handy uh, to have for various applications. And then I've got uh, just zip ties, a bunch of zip ties, 
a couple longer ones in case I need something really long, but uh, always good to have zip ties. You can always find uses for those. No kit would be complete without duct tape. This is actually Gorilla Tape, same thing, but um, I've used this for, for random stuff on the trail uh, multiple times. And then this would this one here is, I think this is a standard, yeah, this is a standard uh, wrench set. Don't necessarily think I need this. Uh, you can make metric work, but I, at the time I think this was smaller, smaller than what I had in my other kit, so I might actually pull this out, um, but good to have an extra set of wrenches. Sometimes you need one on each side, you know, different sizes, so that's probably actually why I have that. Uh, and then these are some longer sockets uh, for some of those tighter uh, bolts that are harder to get to, so, um, you know, this is a standard set, but you, again, you can use this on metric, uh, you know, the equivalent or whatever's close. Let's see. Breaker bar. This definitely comes in handy on the trail. That's kind of the big ugga dugga type stuff. And then I've got a couple pry bars of various lengths. Um, you know, these are something that I've used, uh, you know, for coil springs. I'll pop off my bump stops with these sorts of things. Uh, you can use these to hold stuff up or bend stuff over, but these are definitely handy to have on the trail. Again, my, my philosophy is that I need uh, whatever I would need to fix the Jeep on the trail. So I don't. I would rather have a couple extra things that maybe aren't going to get used on the regular, but have them for when I need them or for when someone else needs them. Um, this is uh, Factor 55 Basic Guide to Winching. So I always have this with me. I, I probably should read it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not an expert in winching, but I've done some winching before. Obviously, um, but this has kind of all kinds of techniques. Maybe if you're stuck and you're in a weird situation, you can reference this guide on, on things to, you know, how to get you out of that situation. And then I have just some power tank uh, cards here. These are basically the, the, quick, the quick information on power tank. I like to hand these out to people that have never seen a power tank in use. Uh, I have a video on that uh, on my channel. Probably my first two videos, I think, were power tank videos. So go look at those if you're not familiar with the power tank and how that works and how quick that is. Highly recommend that. Um, Multiple just, you know, shop rags just in case, you know, clean up or wipe your hands down or just whatever you need with that. This is a, a, just a socket set. This is a small set. I actually don't really like this one. I'm probably going to replace it with a Tecton uh, set at some point. This has what I need uh, for the most part, but I'm not real. It's not a real quality setup. I think I just bought it in a pinch. You know, it's just not a great kit, but it's better than nothing. And it has... Uh, 12 millimeter to 21 millimeter, and then it's got standard 3 8 to 1 inch. Um, so better than nothing, but I probably will replace this at some point with something better, uh, maybe a little bit bigger in terms of uh, components and smaller in size. This has a lot of dead space in it, but um, let's see if I can get all this stuff back in. Tape measure, always good to have a tape, uh, you know. And then uh, this is just a flat pry bar. I probably could pull this out. I don't think I need that since I have those other pry bars. But before I had a regular pry bar set, before I had these guys, I had that guy in there. So I'm going to take that out and just keep these two. Um, this is my brush for the, the paint, the backlashing on the gears. An extra set of gloves. I have multiple gloves in my Jeep. I usually wear mechanics gloves if I can, but these are just an extra set that I keep in the tool box just in case. Same with safety glasses. Uh, things like this are just good to have in case you need them. Uh, carabiner, I don't know, just something I threw in there one time, and I'll probably put this in my recovery bag, actually, now that I think about that. So we'll put that in there. I got, I'll do another video of what I use uh, for recovery. I have multiple recovery bags with toe straps and, um, you know, hard, regular D-rings, soft shackles, things like that. Uh, I'll do a video just, just with all of that in there. So light, I must have cut out on the trail at some point. This is uh, bag number, what are we on, bag number four. This is all electrical stuff. So I have, I have some, um, some Loctite, and then I have just a, multiple electrical connector type things in here. Uh, I also have uh, thread locker, you know, blue, red thread locker, extra valve stems. Um, forgot I had those in there. I have those in my power tank kit, but it's also good to know that I have those there. These are beadlock bolts for my for my bead locks uh, in case I were to lose one of those I have an extra bolt um, just you know all kinds of good stuff like that so this is just multiple you know butt splice uh, sizes um, you know terminals things like that in case you needed some sort of electrical um, fix on the trail 
I've got, you know, kind of band-aid type stuff to, to hopefully get me off. Uh, and that's all kind of depending on what you have going on electrical-wise. I have a lot of lights and things like that. So uh, these are extra wrenches that I've needed in the past to have, like I said, to have, you know, sometimes you need two wrenches, one on each side. So uh, when you can't get a socket necessarily in. So these are wrenches. I'll probably re revisit these sizes and make sure I need all these, but this would kind of go with um, you know, additional wrenches that I've got going on. This is the one and a quarter socket. Um, I think this is for the nut on the pinion. Yeah, this is the, probably the pinion nut. If I remember. actually, I have a big one for the pinion. This was something else I needed for the Jeep. I don't remember off the top of my head what it was for. Uh, my pinion nut is actually in my toolbox. I'll probably throw that in here in case because that's a good one to have in case you got to pull that off for whatever reason. So, uh, and then an additional large socket that just kind of floats around in there. Then I have an extra bag that's just empty. If I were to need something or put something you know, in on the trail, I just keep it in there so that I have it. And then last but not least, this is just uh, all these random you know, bits that you need and, uh, and drivers. So uh, all your star bits, you know, your Phillips, your flathead, uh, your, 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 your Torx bits, all those different things are all, pretty much every single one you would need is encompassed in this um, this kit. It's not a really nice kit. I think I got it at like AutoZone or something like that. I'll probably replace it at some point, but it's one of those things I, I very rarely use. So, um, you know, kind of hard to spend money on stuff you don't use a lot, but so that, that is what all goes inside of the Rome Adventure Box. All of that fits in here, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it makes for, oh, one more thing, a uh, small ball peen hammer. This is actually, this thing gets used because you can really get it in tight spaces when you can't get a full on hammer in there. This is a, a really good tool for that. So that looks like it's everything, this random washers and stuff floating around. But that is essentially everything I have with me in uh, my Jeep at most times. If I, even if I'm just going on a long drive, like if I'm taking the Jeep from here to Southern California, even if I'm not wheeling, I would have this with me most likely because uh, the one time I didn't, I went to uh, the Jeep Bash, and on the way back, my, my drive line had finally decided to go out on me from having gotten uh, spun on the rock so many times. It just got out of balance, and um, you know, it would have been nice to be able to pull it and see what I was doing on the side of the road there. But uh, So kind of lesson learned there, but from, from here on out, I pretty much always have this with me. And then I bring this uh, secondary bag here. This would be like power, power tools type stuff. Uh, so this one always will come with me on Jeep trips. Uh, on adventure trips, uh, you've got the Milwaukee, the light here. This thing is really comes in handy. It's magnetic and it's got a clamp on it. So I use that a lot for working at night or whenever you need to. Uh, Stubby Impact, this is uh, this thing really gets down for, for what it is. It's an M12, but I can, I mean, I can zip off the lugs on this thing with, uh, with, this, with this little stubby. So this is a great tool as far as being compact. You're not going to break any significant torquage, uh, but it will it will pull an impact um, off of your lug nut. So it, it's actually pretty good and does the job well for most everything. Um, this guy does a lot of work, uh, obviously. So this ratchet is you know adjustable ratchet uh, for uh, making quick work of stuff. The older you get, the more you appreciate having power at your hands. So I'll bring those and a charger, and then I have multiple other batteries. So I'll probably bring like one or two other batteries with me. And then uh, this bag has just extra rubber gloves, an extra towel, that sort of thing. So all that kind of goes into this bag here. And then uh, for like the overnight, we're staying somewhere, we have a house, we're camping, uh, I can offload some of the tools. Then I bring the bigger Craftsman bag with the rest of the Milwaukee uh, components, which typically would be uh, the M18 impact. This one's the big dog and this guy will, will snap the bolt head off. Uh, no problem if you want it to. Uh, so this is like the workhorse. This is what I use most of the time on anything that, you know, I, I don't need to get into a tight space. This one would be the, uh, the counterpart, the guy that I put in the tight spaces, but doesn't necessarily, um, you know, zip everything off. I don't think I've met a bolt that this wasn't able to take off. So uh, be careful with this one, but this is a, an amazing tool that I will bring with me. I don't bring it with me on like the, on the day trips or even just, uh, you know, in the Jeep because it's heavy and big and I've got the smaller guy and so I figured if I'm somewhere and far enough away and I have this with me I could always go back and grab it but this one will come with me and then just a couple other um, Milwaukee this is the, the newest one the right angle die grinder this thing is awesome for cutting can cut in tight spaces 
again, you probably don't need this on the trail, but good to have in your toolbox arsenal. Um, and then just, you know, impact driver and uh, impact drill. Uh, these are more for at home, uh, you know, for working on stuff here uh, on the Jeep. Anytime I drill holes in the Jeep, I'll drill it with this one. It's been really good. So those are all uh, things that come with me. Other things that I would have uh, here that I wouldn't necessarily always bring with me are, you know, impact, I'm sorry, uh, torque wrench. This is the big one I have, the, uh, the Tecton. So this is what I'll, I'm doing, you know, uh, lug nuts with and anything like the big, you know, the control arm bolts and, and uh, track bar and all that stuff is getting torqued down with this. This stays here. Uh, I'm not necessarily too concerned with torque spec on the trail. If it broke, it's just get it as tight as you can. Uh, and then you get home and, and, and get the torque spec down on that. But that is an amazing uh, tool to have. I always do torque spec. I always mark everything, witness mark it. So I've never had uh, issues with bolts coming loose on me on the trail for the most part. I mean, you wheel enough, you're going to have something come loose. But uh, if you have a witness line on there, you have a good idea of where it's going to be. So I'm going to get up now. Um, if you haven't noticed, I shoot all these videos in one take. Uh, I don't I'm not editing and doing things like that. So I'm going to get up here and show you uh, kind of a closer view of the tools I'm talking about. So uh, here we go. Again, this is just the, the drawer. This came out of a rigid toolbox. It's just an extra drawer that I had and it fit perfectly in the Rome box. So this is just kind of miscellaneous stuff, uh, pens and clamps and, uh, you know, little dikes. And I actually have a uh, um, spanner wrench here for, and I'll, I will put, I do have spanner wrenches. I will be putting those in the box. These are over here because I'm working on the Jeep right now. But most likely I just use this guy right here. It's just a screwdriver that I cut the head off of it. And it fits really nicely into uh, tight spaces. So you just throw it in there and then I can I can adjust it that way. So um, I will have this in there for sure. I bought this real nice one right here. Um, and it doesn't really work with my setup because it's too bulky. So I'll find a way to use it, but um, not a necessity. And then obviously you'll have your your key for your lugs. Back to these guys over here. Um, all right, so here's all of our wrenches. Uh, these are the ones I'm gonna probably go through and double check. And then these are, you know, again, your set. Here's your Tecton. This would be uh, your impacts. And then these are all the wrenches that go in bag number one. So you got your crescents, your electricals, uh, your different, you know, uh, sets of pliers, your standard, your dikes, your needle nose, your, um, I forget what they call those ones, drawing a blank, but you know, and then you've got your locking pliers, which are, are coming handy for sure. Uh, sockets that float on their own. This is all in bag number, I think it was bag number three, just the, the various um, step down, step up, extensions, all those sorts of things. Uh, various like specific, I need this specific socket for uh, like one, um, you know, one part of the Jeep that, you know, only requires that specific size. So that's a nine and a 10. Don't remember off the top of my head. Usually when I get to it, I'm like, oh yeah, that's what one's in that bag. So, uh, and then we have the bag number two here had all the screwdrivers, the extra um, socket wrench, all the Allens, various Allen sizes, your chisel, um, things like that. And then we had kind of just floating around, uh, but strategically placed your ball peen, your extension, your large crescent, your pry bars, your breaker bar, your dead blow, various C-clamps, gloves, rags, mini sledgehammer, little mini Thor, some uh, educational materials, um, zip ties. Dang, I really drew a blank there. I'm getting old, man. Whew. All right, and then we've got uh, all your, um, you know, your various bit sizes for your little driver there and then your dewalt uh socket set which will probably get replaced so and again all of that fits in the rome adventure i think this is the 52 i can't remember what one that is but i think that's what size that is i can confirm that in the comments if i need to so that is what is with me and then power tools the milwaukee set up right there. That is what I have with me all the time. So those are going to be in my Jeep on the trail. If you're broken and you see me drive by, now you know I'm going to have all these tools with me. So I am going to put them all back together in the toolbox. Uh, comment 
below if you think I should add anything, delete anything, questions on anything. Uh, so there you go. Thanks for tuning in.